You ready? This thing. supposed to say your stuff then I finish up. No, no. Uh, uh, he should be locked up. Row. What do you mean he should be locked up? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Three uh, uh, the row. Uh, uh, he should be locked up. What do you mean he should be locked up? He's trying to create a higher level of self-restraint. He fell to the loonies and he lived in the past. What do you mean? He tried to go from the heart. He did what he thought was right. No. These are unjust laws. No. He should not have to pay no. taxes. He did what he thought was right. No. He went beyond. Everyone should he pay is taxes. a perfect example of taxes. a transcendentalist uh, mindset. Everyone should pay taxes. Okay, we're done. Transcendentist? No, you idiot. Transcendentalism. Don't you know what that means? Here. American literature, a chronological approach, defines transcendentalism as a form of philosophical romanticism that places reliance on human intuition and conscience. Transcendentalism holds that human inner consciousness is divine that the whole of God's moral law is revealed in nature, and that the ultimate truth can be discovered by people's inmost feelings and a morality guided by conscience. So do you understand transcendentalism now? Oh, uh, yeah. It's quite interesting. Can I see this book for a second? Oh, sure. What's that? Oh, hey. Oh. <laughs> Emerson decides to take matters into his own hands. After reading the American literature book, he decides, uh, shut up. <laughs> Jay, don't film that. What are you doing? What am I saying? So Emerson decides... Uh, goes and explores more by talking... Uh, decides to get a... Jack so Emerson read up on transcendentalism and decided to talk to this transcendentalist, Thoreau. Gotta talk to Thoreau. He's in jail. Gotta get to him. Not all the way over there. I didn't know you for something. from principle, the perception and performance of right, changes things and relations. It is essentially revolutionary and does not consist wholly with anything which was. It not only divides the states and churches, it divides families. I, it divides the individual, separating the diabolical in him from the divine. After all, unjust laws exist. Shall we be content to obey them, or shall we endeavor to amend them, and obey them until we have succeeded? Or shall we transgress them all at once? I killed your guard and opened the door. I killed your guard. You, oh, I killed the guard to come in here and speak with you. Thank God for the massive men. 
So that was that sound over there. You killed the guard, another tool of the government who served the state. <sighs> so that was that sound over there. Foolish guard, he's just another tool of the. <sighs> he's yeah. not bad. So that was that sound over there. Foolish guard, he's just another tool of the government. It's his fault for putting himself on the level of wood and sand and earth and stones. He'll be replaced in due time. Interesting statement there. My real reason for being here is uh, to know why you were. Uh, <laughs> My Dave. my real reason for being here is to find more about your views on transcendent. Interesting statement. I'd like to know the basic roots on transcendentalism. So you'd like to know my basic blah blah. Well, the reason why I'm a transcendentalist, why people consider me a transcendentalist, is why I have. <laughs> well, the reason I consider a transcendentalist is well, you have to go back to the roots of the word. The first root, sendre, means climb, and the second root, trans, means to go over. So the word in itself means to climb over, which I interpret as to go beyond. What do you mean by go beyond? Well, what do I mean by go beyond? I mean go past the limitations of the senses and experiences of everyday life. I can honestly say I've never yet met a man who is quite awake. I think I know what you're talking about. In my, my essay, Self-Reliant... Ah, oh, start again. I think I have an idea of what you're talking about. In my essay, Self-Reliance... I talked about how society never wants to advance. Uh, sh I think I know what you're talking about. I think I have an idea what you're talking about. In my essay, Self-Reliance, I talked a little bit about how society never wants to advance. Like, one side recedes as fast as the other side gains. So you're, so you're saying that society never advances. How can you prove that? What I mean by society not advancing is that the majority... Oh, what I mean by society not advancing is that the what I mean by society never advancing do it again what I mean by society never advancing is that some people try to be self-reliant and be nonconformists and in doing so they conform to the majority of the people interesting so how would you slump that idea into one idea no <laughs> interesting so how would you sum up that idea into one statement Invitation is suicide. <laughs> Invitation is suicide in the sense that the government controls conformity. Well, I'd have to say that the government which governs the least, it governs the best. And that the government right now as a... Uh, no, never mind. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. I have to say that I agree with you and that the government does control the extent to which we can be individuals and that, in my opinion, the government which governs the least governs the best. And at a time right now when the population is increasing and political parties are forming, there's a lot of de-emphasis on the individual. And that's being added to the problems that are going on in the U.S. right now. Immigrants are increasing, there's increased taxation, there's conflicts over expansion. All this is creating a big fuss, and the individual doesn't have much say in it with all these parties going on. And a time right now when the government is ruling with numeric and economical strength instead of moral conviction, I'd have to say that that kind of government, which rules like that, which rules under the majority, is not one that underlies justice. Well, I understand why, uh, never mind. I understand the... I understand your views on... Did you tell me? Yes. No, no, no. Stand over there. Go face the corner. I know you're trying to be an individual and all, but... Here's your corner. 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 Alright, this is the last of it. No more. Now I better understand your views on transcendentalism, but can you please explain to me why you don't want to leave... Well, Emerson, although we are both influenced by people such as the Quakers and the Puritans who believed in equality among men and self-reliance, I have to say that I'm a man that's misunderstood, maybe like yourself. But since I'm understood, governments decide to, uh, oh, fuck. All, <sighs> well, Emerson, although we are both influenced by people such as the Quakers and the Puritans, who founded this country and decided that equality among men is what is right, and decided that reliance on the individual is right, I have to say that I'm a man that's misunderstood, maybe like yourself. People such as me, Socrates in the past, Luther, Pythagoras, Copernicus, the government decides to take us out because we are uh, considered misunderstood and radical. And people call us unjust, all, like we see unjust laws. 
But unlike unjust laws, the just people who... Ah. Well, Emerson, although we both are influenced by the Quakers and the Puritans who founded this country and said that equality of men is which is right and self-reliance is also right, I'd have to say that I am a man that's understood. Socrates was understood, Copernicus was misunderstood, Luther, Jesus, the list goes on. The government decides to call us, those people with radical views, those people with different views, who are being ourselves and relying on intuition, they like to call us unjust. And under a government which places unjust men in jail, the true place for a just man is jail. I'll see you then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. oh, so many